This is a quick video on the compressor that I use. Never made a video on it, so here it goes. It's an old compressor made by this brand, which I've never even heard of before, Speed Air. Made in USA, so that's pretty cool. The model is 5F212, three and a half horse, one phase. Don't really know too much about it other than, you know, it's kind of old. Pretty sure my dad replaced the motor on this at some point. It's got a problem though. It still works fine. Now, the only real problem it has is the auto and off switch. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't lock back and stay in the off position. So that needs to be uh, replaced here at some point. I actually don't know where. I'm sure I can do some research online, but you know, it's probably not too easy. It's probably not too hard to change one of these out. We just you know haven't done it for whatever reason. But it's a pretty good compressor. Um, as you can see, it's you know pretty big. It's not the biggest out there, but for what I do, especially with lug nuts, it gets the job done. Um, but kind of tying in with this, uh, you have to be careful because since it's already on the on position, technically, when you go and plug it into a live socket and you don't switch the breaker off, uh, it'll want to start. So it'll start drawing current and it's already happened a good number of times. One time I've done it, but uh, as you can see, this is a brand new Cora plug on the end of it, female plug, and uh, or male plug rather. And the breaker's off right now, I just turned everything off. You gotta be careful because if that breaker's on and you go and plug this in at this point here, I haven't tried it from the point over on the wall, but I'm sure it would do the same thing, but it, you know, it, short, it doesn't short itself out, it basically you know, just arcs and uh, it screws up both plugs. So this one's actually new too on the extension cord, but that's the only real thing you gotta be careful about. But I'm sure there are some, you know, replacement parts you can find for these pretty easily. But it is a uh, pretty good compressor. It's done everything I've needed it to do, and you know, of course it functions good for blowing dust and air and stuff out of the shop, but it works good for me. So that's kind of a quick video for you guys. I'm gonna look into how much it would cost to get a new one of those. See how I'm the one who uses this the most. Maybe I'll just go ahead and replace it. But uh, y'all stay classy.